So, in this series of preparation of UGC NET exam, in the previous video we have already discussed how to prepare for paper 2, right? That was subject specific for computer science I have already, uh, already discussed. Now, in this video we are going to discuss how to prepare for paper 1. So, this paper 1 is general paper, it is not subject oriented. It would be same for every student who is going to sit in that exam, right? So, first thing you need to take care is what many students think that it is very easy, no need to study for that. Many students think that it is very tough, we cannot clear this thing, we can't, we can't study for paper 1, how will I study? So, these two points are myths, it is not too easy and it is not too difficult, right? Because it is for every student. So, they the level is from easy to you can say intermediate. Some questions are easy or I, I would rather say very easy. Some questions would be very easy. Some questions would be of intermediate level, but it is not like that the questions would be of high level or you know very difficult, fine. But in my first attempt, I have made this mistake that I thought this paper 1 is it would be very easy and I am not going to prepare for this one. I have just prepared for paper 2 and because of paper 1 only, I have not done well in this paper and I was not able to crack net exam in my first attempt. But in my second attempt, yeah, that time I have devoted some time for paper 1 as well. So, I am going to share my strategy also that how many days I have, devo I have devoted for this preparation of paper 1 from where I have studied and everything. Right. So, very first thing is obviously you should have syllabus of this one. Just download the syllabus, you should have a hard copy of the syllabus of paper 1. There would be 10 units, and from each unit, they are going to ask 5 questions. Right. So, total 50 questions would be there, and marks would be 100 marks and all questions are compulsory, right. Sometimes it happens that from one unit they ask 3 to 4 questions and from another unit they ask 6, six to 7 questions. Sometimes it happens when on an average they ask 5 questions from each unit. So, you should have the syllabus. It is not like that. Just watch the YouTube videos. They have discussed the syllabus and just you have just started preparing for that. You have to do yourself some work. You have to be self, you know, you have to be independent. So, please download the syllabus yourself, analyze that syllabus, read that syllabus which are the units, right. Second thing is, now obviously how you are going to analyze those, you know, units because some units are easy, some units are difficult uh, in which theoretical sections are also there, the practical sections are also there. So, you have to download for analyzing that you have to download previous year question paper at least for 5 years or maybe for 10 years, right. But at least 5 year question, previous year question paper first download, right. And if you think that you are smart enough, there is no need to study for paper 1, you can do what? Just in timer just uh, set 1 hour because for this your yeah, time would be 60 minutes. You have to give only 60 minutes and 2 hours for paper 2, 3 hour would be there. and. Uh, now, it would be on computer based, the paper would be computer based and there would be no gap between paper 1 and paper 2, right. Continuously for 3 hours there would be 2 papers, but you have to make sure you have to devote only 1 hour for paper 1 and 2 hours for paper 2. So, set timer for 1 hour, take one paper, previous year question paper and try to solve and see how many questions are correct, right. Second paper also and see how many questions are correct. At that time you will realize that where you are standing, if you have to means uh, you need to prepare for paper 1 or not, it is up to you only, right. Maybe you are smart and if you are extraordinary students and without preparation you will get uh, maybe 60 marks or 50 plus marks in paper 1, that is also fine. Without preparation you are getting 50 plus marks. So, likewise solve all the question paper, all the 5 uh, year question paper means 10 question paper would be there and see where you are standing. If you are getting good marks like 50, 60 marks, then that is fine, no need to prepare, right. And if you are getting less marks means obviously you will know now where your weak points and your strong points. So, now what you have to do? From these 10 units, 
when you will analyze when you will solve the previous year question paper you will see that which type of questions are being asked from each units see units should be something like teaching aptitude research aptitude your communication your reading comprehension your ict your uh, you can say higher education and uh, reasoning also maths reasoning logical reasoning and people and environment and uh, government policies these 10 units would be there right so according to that you can decide which is easy for you and which unit is difficult for you for me easy units was actually teaching aptitude research aptitude and uh, comprehension and ict and logical reasoning because see i was in teaching field so i was aware about something uh, you know something about teaching research because i have done m tech so i have gone through the research process so i was also familiar with the research concepts comprehension is i think easy for everyone you are not supposed to prepare prepare for this one because we have practiced in your childhood many unseen passages one passage would be there and questions would be there and from that passage you have to read that passage and you have to answer the questions right so i think at that time only you will you can answer the questions at least two questions would be very easy within two, first two to three lines you will get the answers maybe three uh, questions would be a little bit tough you are not getting the answer but two questions would be very easy right but you don't have to devote much time at the time of you know uh, attempting your question how you are going to manage the time how you should attempt the question paper that also we'll discuss in next video right and for me difficult was obviously di was difficult data interpretation right maths was a little bit difficult maths reasoning and higher education system people environment and government policies because see these are of you know higher education and people environment and government policies from these sections generally one or two uh, question would be from you know general uh, general uh, awareness or current affairs regarding that right so obviously we are not much familiar with these kind of things di and maths was also difficult and one is communication that is i can't say it's difficult and i can't say it's easy but i put it in difficult section for me so according to you you have to decide in which section which sections are easy for you which are difficult for you plus in which section you are strong and in which section you are weak because you have to devote more time in preparing those units in which you are strong you have to focus on that thing plus one more thing uh, many students think that general awareness is also very uh, important for this thing or current affairs and they devote much more time for current affairs and general awareness so there would be no such uh, you know separate section for current affairs and general awareness from these sections only from these i guess they last one or two questions that would be based on uh, current affairs right so uh, please do not devote much time to prepare for those things because in this case you have to you know remember i think dates right and this current affairs and general awareness this is very vast thing we can we cannot set any boundaries and at that time only if you have read many many current affairs in that case also it is not uh, you know sh surety that you are going to solve and you can solve the questions in the exam so i would rather say do not waste your time in preparing more and more current affairs and general awareness right now see in this practical would be practical uh, section would be your di your maths your reasoning and these all are what theoretical sections right so and i think teaching aptitude research aptitude and these ict from ict they ask simple you know uh, computer uh, related questions or many times simply they ask the full form of even pdf at least two questions would be very easy so for computer science students it is a plus point because they know the terms they are familiar with the computer related terms it terms maybe who, uh, those who are not from computer background maybe ict would be in a difficult section for those so according to you you have to decide which is easy which is difficult for you and in which section you are strong you have to devote much time on the strong sections and in paper please do not aim to solve all the 50 questions correctly right i am saying correctly yes you have to attempt all the 50 questions because there would be no negative marking so at least try to solve 30 questions correctly 30 to 35 
if you will get 60 plus score that is considered as a good score and if you will get 70 plus that is considered as a great I think score that would be helpful in uh, you know clearing the GRF as well. But at least at least try to get 30 questions correctly means 60 marks in paper 1 and according to that you have to prepare your units. It is not like that you have to prepare all the 10 units thoroughly. According to these questions means at least 6 or we can say 6 to 7 units from these out of 10 units you have to prepare thoroughly, right. You should be very good in 6 to 7 units. Maybe you are not very good in 2 to 3 units that is fine. Now one another doubt of many students is that how many hours we should study for paper 1 or should we study paper 1 and paper 2 regularly for 3 to 4 months or uh, should we study paper 1 and last for 1 month or 15 days. See it depends totally depends on you means every student is having its own you know his own um, plus points and weak points his own capabilities. You I think you uh, should better know your capabilities. What I have done is in I, I was just having 4 and half months for preparing net exam and uh, in first 2 to 2 months and 2 and half months I just focused on paper 1. After that I used to prepare paper 1 and paper 2 as well as at the same time means daily 1 hour for paper 1 plus 7 hours or 8 hours for paper 2 and at last I devote 10 days for paper 1. So, I think according to me you can decide it yourself. I think 15 days are enough for preparation of paper 1, but you have to study regularly and sincerely in those 15 days. If you are uh, tired and you are frustrated only by reading your subject specific four subjects, then uh, each day one hour you can devote you can solve the reasoning questions that is also fine or at last maybe you can devote 15 days regularly and sincerely for paper 1. So, see it is it depends on you, but please do not think that you need 1 month or 2 months for paper 1 preparation. I think 15 days are enough. Now, from where you have to study paper 1? See I have studied paper 1 from uh, most of the subjects or most of the units from YouTube videos only. There are many channels who are there who are uh, you know uh, providing lectures for preparation of paper 1 and these are very good. Right. They also uh, give you some videos on previous year question papers like that. So, I was yes I was having study material from a paid course also, but I think 70 to 80 percent I was uh, dependent on YouTube videos, 70 percent I have prepared for from YouTube videos rather than my study material. So, I think that is enough just solving the previous year question papers and good material from YouTube some good uh, YouTube videos that is fine for preparation of paper 1. I have not referred any book, but yeah I have heard that on net and on in many videos that KVS Madan book is good for paper 1. So, if you want to go for any books and you can purchase that book because see I cannot uh, provide you any review on that book because I have not gone through that book, but I think YouTube videos and so all the previous year question papers are enough to prepare for paper 1. And see these practical sections like DI or reasoning and maths, these are you know time consuming sections and you need practice, right. And these are theoretical uh, sections and they will need less time to prepare. And obviously, in exam while you are attempting the questions, they will need they will need less time rather than solving these type of questions, DI, reasoning, maths, especially these DI questions. But at least See 5 question would be there from this, so at least 2 question would be there that would be 1 to 2 question would be there that would be very easy. So, you can solve those questions right, but please at that time you are not you know you do not have to uh, devote much time you do not have to waste much time to solve DI questions. Maybe you think that you have prepared DI well you have practiced many questions. So, now in exam first of all I will solve DI questions and you have wasted much of your time in DI question because 50 question would be there and you will have 60 minutes right. So, almost one unit for each uh, sorry one minute for each question because at last you have to devote 5 to 7 minutes just to review your answers and just to see that how many questions are unattempted and you have to attempt those questions just to guess 
by by guessing those questions those answers right now how you should attempt that thing we will discuss in the next video that's it for this video now i'm going to see you in the next video till then bye take care